I've refrained from talking about Jimmy Dore on this channel for the longest time now. I held my tongue during the whole force the vote controversy, which is a stupid, pointless, virtue signally premise concocted by Jimmy and other pundits within the progressive sphere here on YouTube, where AOC and other progressive Democrats of the like would withhold support needed for Nancy Pelosi to retain speakership in the House unless Nancy Pelosi would hold a vote for Medicare for All in the House. Which, obviously was not going to get us anywhere at all, and would possibly grant Republicans even more power. And anyone who expressed opposition and genuine concern for this quite frankly horrid strategy was labeled a phony, fraud, sellout piece of shit by Jimmy, so it already should be pretty clear that we're dealing with someone who's one card short of a full deck, but I digress, that aside. This recent controversy involving Jimmy is something that I kind of can't be all hush-hush on because this is quite a bit more repugnant. It involves Anna Kasparian, a host over at the Unturks, an organization that Jimmy used to work with, and during his time with TYT, apparently Jimmy had a pattern of making unwanted sexual comments towards Anna. This includes a time that Jimmy recounts where Anna was wearing a short skirt in a newsroom and every time she bent down, you could very clearly see her ass and thong, and then Jimmy made a remark about very clearly seeing her ass and thong to her, and she really didn't appreciate that and was humiliated because he had the whole room laughing after he made said comment. Jimmy very adamantly defends himself by saying, well, at least I felt bad for making the remark, at least. I didn't mean to cause such humiliation, and I wrote her an apology card afterwards, so everything should have been peachy keen, right? And also, she kind of brought this upon herself, right? She shouldn't have been wearing such a tire to work anyway classic apologia for sexual harassment, but anyways. First off, you really shouldn't be in a position to apologize to a co-worker for making an unwanted sexual comment towards them because not doing such a thing in a work environment should be common fucking sense to someone who is now over 50 years old. And also, apparently, Jimmy fabricated the story. What a surprise. Anna and her colleagues say that the story didn't go down the way Jimmy recounts. This didn't happen in front of co-workers who laughed along with Jimmy, but instead in front of college students that Anna was teaching at the time, who didn't find the humor in sexual harassment. And she was in fact not wearing a short skirt, but rather casual clothing, and Jimmy was just being a creep and peeping at her and making unwelcome sexual remarks about her body in front of students she was teaching in a classroom. Jimmy Dore, quite the upstanding individual, am I right? Anyway, this incident transpired years ago, but the reason that this is a source of controversy now is because Anna recently DM'd Jimmy about his repeated sexual harassment towards her back when he was with TYT, because as of recent, Jimmy has been on quite the harassment campaign against Anna and her colleagues, and basically the gist of her tweet was, you claim to be this champion of progressive values, yet back when we were co-workers, you would repeatedly make unwelcome sexual comments about my body that I made clear to you made me uncomfortable, yet you persisted. Jimmy then publicly showcased this DM on his show, and then began to tell what I described earlier, his version of events of the story from earlier. The funniest thing about this to me is, even in the most charitable version of this story provided by Jimmy, it still paints him in a horrible light because he still made an unwelcome sexual comment about a woman's body that visibly made them uncomfortable. And yet all the Jimmy Dore fans are eating this shit up and taking Jimmy's side and basically providing apologia for sexual harassment. Well, at least he apologized. She shouldn't have been wearing that short skirt to work anyway. You people claim to be fucking progressives and on the left, and yet you're engaging in the same fucking apologia for horrid behavior that you would see frequently on the right? Oh wait, Jimmy actually harvests a shitload of right-wingers in his audience. You see him coddling and sanitizing members of the Boogaloo Boys, a far-right hate group, and saying, hey fellow progressives, wink wink, Maybe these people aren't so far off from you because they're also anti-establishment. Never mind the fact that they're white supremacists calling for a second civil war. You should still form an alliance with these kinds of people and not view them as your enemy. You also see neo-Nazi publications like the Daily Stormer dashing to his defense in this recent round of controversy. And at that point, you just kind of have to think, maybe this is a result of the shit that he spews on his show. Anti-establishment equals good, no matter the repugnant beliefs and goals that one who is anti-establishment may hold. And then you see the kind of audience he fosters, engaging in apologia for sexual harassment. I see Jimmy Dore fans digging up like 12-year-old TYT clips of Jenkin Anna saying pretty disgusting and disparaging things of other women, but 
you kind of have to also take into account that these clips are over a decade old at this point. And you may also argue that what Jimmy Dore said to Anna is years old at this point, but here's the difference. Jake and Anna don't engage in this type of behavior anymore. I don't see them try to adamantly defend this kind of behavior anymore, so it is safe to say that they have changed. But with Jimmy... I mean, yeah, he sent her an apology card, sure, Anna's confirmed that herself, but if he was genuinely sorry, he wouldn't be defending himself so adamantly. Instead, he would be like, yes, this is fucked up of me to say, I apologize, Anna, this was disgusting behavior, I have changed, and I do not engage in this type of behavior anymore. Instead, you see him laughing it off, doubling down, making jokes about it, making a whole spectacle out of him sexually harassing Anna during his time with TYT. I think at that point, it's pretty safe to say that Jimmy Dore is a pretty garbage human being with no shame, who hasn't changed at all, and I'll go the extra mile and say he probably only gave that apology card to Anna to take some heat off of himself. It's also pretty amusing hearing Jimmy Dore and his fans say that what Anna said in her DM was essentially blackmail. Yeah, holding someone accountable for their own disgusting actions is blackmail now. Holy shit! It's not like he's repeatedly attacked her on his show or anything, and her having to live with the memory she has kept quiet about for the longest time of him sexually actually harassing her for years on end, is finally tired of his shit, and then says, hey, you have no ground to stand on. No, it's not like that whatsoever. Joking aside, it is very sad and disgusting to see a large, quote-unquote, progressive figure not only engage in this type of behavior, but years later play off this type of behavior like it's nothing, and to see their audience also play it off like it's nothing, and engage in the same type of apology for disgusting actions you would commonly see on the right. You can say, oh, but he apologized, though, all you fucking want, but guess what? An apology means jack fucking shit when the behavior one claims to apologize for continues to persist. This is shit you learn at fucking two years old. And here's the thing, I don't even like TYT, or Anna, or Jank for that matter. I think TYT is lib garbage. Hell, I even put Jank on blast in a video last year for a horrible take he had on welfare, but sexual harassment is sexual harassment, and I'm not going to brush off the sexual harassment one face just because I don't like their political views. And on this issue, I am absolutely on TYT's side, and to see Jimmy just laughing and grinning over these horrible remarks he made towards Anna only solidifies my belief that Jimmy Dore is a disgusting human being. And while we're at it, if anyone in my audience wants to defend this type of behavior, please by all means reveal yourselves in the comment section so I can block you, and then unsubscribe afterwards because I do not want trash human beings like you watching my content. And I'm pretty positive Jimmy's call to is gonna find this video, and to you, by all means, sound off in the comment section, come on, do your worst, I'll have a very fun time not acknowledging you, and you'll be a pretty nice display of the kind of awful people that Jimmy harvests in his fanbase. Anyway, that's all I have to say, Bye bye